I mean, we were helpless. There was no, no hope for us in, our, in and of ourselves. I know what helpless is like. I have a 10-month-old little boy at home. 10 months old, David. I mean, he's 11 months online. I'm sorry. 11 months old. And I mean, that brother is helpless. <laughs> His performance is pitiful. I'm like, David, you smell bad, man. <laughs> Change your diaper. He's just like, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, David, man, stop crying. If you're hungry, go get some food. He's like, man, I don't know how to make a bottle. <laughs> I mean, his performance is terrible. If left up to David, he'll never make it. He'll never make it. But his father is loving. His father is caring, and his father will take care of him. His performance is terrible, but his position is great. He's my son, and I will make sure he's taken care of. That's the God we serve. That's the kind of God we have. Our performance is bad. We messed up. Mm. The Bible says, in Adam we all sin. We all ate that fruit. We've all put ourselves above God. There's nobody in here who has not done some crime against God. The Bible says we've all sinned, we all fall short. But God is loving. He's loving if you are, I don't know how old, you may be 15, maybe 18. But God has given you 15 or 18 years of patience. He's not smashed this plan. He's waited. He's held his anger back because he has a plan. He has a plan for you. Yeah. He's got a plan for you. He's got a way out for you. He's got an opportunity for you that you don't want to miss. He says, I want you and I to be close like Adam and I were. Yeah, he blew it, but I'm giving you a chance. Because I love you. I love you and I want you and I to be close. So I'm going to give you an opportunity. In Genesis 3.15, he says that the, the, the head of that serpent will be crushed. And the seed of woman, his heel will be bruised. Now, if you don't know what seed is, I'm not going to have a biology class right now. But women don't have seed. Okay? But yet the Bible says the seed of woman. Obviously, there's some woman who's able to conceive a child without a man. And that's Mary. In Genesis 3.15, God says, hey, there will be the seed of woman, he will come, he will crush that serpent's head. My son, Jesus, Jesus will come and make a way for all of you who've been casted away from my presence, who've been pushed away. Jesus will come and you and I can have fellowship again. But here's the deal. Jesus has already done the work. He did it 2,000 years ago. You know the story. He came to earth. He climbed on that cross. He was beat down. He was whipped. He was stripped. He bled and was hung up on a cross for our sin. I mean, it was, it was a pitiful sight. It was a, it was a horrible sight. Him being strung up on his cross. All the anger God had. All the, the, the wrath that he had stored up poured out on his own son for you. Because God knew in 2008 this 15, 16, 17 year old kid was going to need to know about Jesus. 